Hey you guys, I know I've been gone for about two or three months, but I, I can explain. If you know me personally, then you know that I am a soldier in the Salvation Army. That's right, fighting a good fight, doing the most good. Everything in the book. Passing out donuts. So in the Salvation Army, they have a camp called Camp Grandview, and I've been working at Camp Grandview for the Salvation Army for about four years now. Four, four years. Every single year I leave Camp Grandview, I learn something about myself or just about life in general. So one thing I've learned about myself at Camp Grandview, every year I go I learn something, is that sometimes I can feel really lonely sometimes. And because of that, I get real depressed. But what I've learned is that it's okay. It's okay to feel those feelings. And the reason why I know that is because I'm vulnerable. I'm able to speak about it and to talk about it without feeling ashamed, without feeling weak. You see, a lot of you all don't wanna be vulnerable. You don't wanna tell your truth and you don't wanna be transparent because you think telling your truth and being transparent and being vulnerable is a sign of weakness. When in reality, it's not a sign of weakness. It's actually a sign of bravery. And if you keep on doing what you've always done, you will keep on getting what you've always gotten, which will cause you not to heal because you cannot heal what you will not talk about. Just being honest. Another thing I learned about myself over the summer is that I am attracted to people who don't deserve me. And I share my story with people who hasn't earned the right to hear it. And because I know that, it's because I'm one of those people that have always given myself, all of myself to people and never receiving nothing back. And now I know that's not good. You can't do that. It's, it won't work for you. So if you're doing it, don't do it. It's not good. Another mistake I was making too that I've learned about myself is that I was making other people responsible for my own happiness. Let me tell you right now, if you are doing that, you're not going to get nowhere. You are the only person responsible for your own happiness. I was using people, I was using my friends and the people I'm close to, to fill me up when I wasn't filling myself up. Right, which caused me to be lonely and depressed. So you can't do that. You cannot do that. You have to take care of yourself first. You have to put yourself first. Another mistake I made is I stopped telling myself that I was depressed and I was lonely, right? Stop doing that. The Bible says the most powerful thing on your body is your tongue. The most powerful thing on your body is your tongue. So watch what you say about yourself and how you speak life into yourself. Because you, because whether you know this or not, you can speak life and death into yourself. Let me say it again. You can speak life and death into yourself. So be careful of what you say and how you say things. Right? Speak life into yourself. I will get over this depression. I will get over this lonely stage in my life. I am not lonely. I have people in my life. I, I am wanted. I do, I do know what I want to do in life. You see, you got to speak life into yourself. Because if you don't, you're, gonna, you, you, you're just going to be that. You're going to keep getting the same thing out of you. So here are some tips to help you. First, talk to somebody. Tell some, be open and transparent and be vulnerable enough to tell your truth, even if it hurts you. Even if you feel ashamed afterwards, tell your truth to somebody. Secondly, secondly, treat yourself. Take care of yourself. If you don't have any money, then just be alone with yourself. Thirdly, pray. Pray more often. Nothing prohibits prayer. Prayer can go where you can't go right? Nothing prohibits prayer. Pray yourself out of depression. Pray yourself out of loneliness. Pray yourself out of that relationship or divorce or whatever you're going through. Pray. Young people, there's nothing wrong with praying. I Listen, I am 21 years old and I pray faithfully. I, you know, I may not read the Bible all the time, but I pray like, I pray like a man. I pray so much. It is crazy. Right? There's nothing wrong with praying. And there's no particular way of how to pray. There's no particular way of how to pray. God's going to accept any prayer you give to him. Any prayer you give to him. So pray. 
Nothing prohibits prayer. Nothing prohibits prayer. Prayer can go where you can't go. Prayer can go into the courtroom. Prayer can go into the boardroom. Prayer can go into your home when you're not there. Prayer can go into the school. Prayer can go into your job. Prayer can go into that uh, in, into anything. Nothing prohibits prayer. Pray more often, young people. Or whoever's watching this video. Young people, old people, pray more often. Whoever you pray to, pray to that person. All right?